What's up guys? In this video we'll talk about how you can get new exotic armor pieces in Destiny 2 in Season of the Lost, including the Radiant Dance Machines, no backup plans, and nothing manacles released this season. So let's get started. Now this method has been in the game since Beyond Light when they introduced Legendary and Master Lost Sectors. However, it's surprising how many people still don't know that you can do this to get new exotics. So even if you're trying to farm for a better role of the exotics you already have, this can also be helpful in trying to get exotics that you may have missed out on. So in this video, we'll go over everything you need to know when it comes to Legendary Lost Sectors in Destiny 2. Now, first things first, we're talking about Legendary and Master Lost Sectors here, but specifically, we're only going to be talking about Legendary Lost Sectors, as I feel the drop rate compared to the difficulty for Master doesn't really make it beneficial to try and farm for. Personally, I think farming for something is the most efficient and quick way to do something, and Master Difficulty Lost Sectors just take a lot more time and preparation to complete. So what is there to know when it comes to Legendary Lost Sectors? Well, we know that in Season of the Lost, there's going to be 11 Legendary Lost Sectors. The Legendary Lost Sectors do rotate every day, and the rewards for them rotate every day as well. But they'll always follow the same order. Chest piece, helmet, legs, and arms. So for example, if you're wanting the Radiant Dance Machine's exotic boots, you need to solo the Legendary Lost Sector on the day when legs are the rewards. Now this doesn't guarantee that you'll get Radiant Dance Machines, but for exotics you don't already have, there is a weighted chance for those exotics to drop. You can still get any of the other exotic boots as well that day, but keep in mind, it's still a random chance. It's not a guarantee, but this is still the best way to farm for exotics. Because think about it, instead of getting one random exotic armor piece out of all of the other exotics, you're limiting it down to only boots for that day, for example. The legendary lost sectors this season we have are on the Dreaming City, the Moon, and the last ones will be on Europa. We can tell from the triumphs in game. So first things first, you want to make sure you've completed all of these lost sectors just normally. That way they'll pop up on your director by name. Next, you want to make sure that you're at least high enough power to attempt these. The legendary lost sectors in Season of the Lost are 1320, so you need to be at least 50 underneath. You can see here, as I equip Sunset Gear and lower my power level, the lost sectors don't show up. However, once I swap back to a higher power level, they do. So as long as you've completed all the Lost Sectors like normal, and you're high enough power level, you can hop straight into these. Now keep in mind, all of the new exotics that have released since Beyond Light, this is the only method to obtain these. So these will not drop in the world unless you've already gotten them before for collections. This means that to get Mask of Bacchus, for example, Omnioculus, or Radiant Dance Machines, any exotic armor piece that's new since Beyond Light dropped, you need to complete Legendary Lost Sectors to get. Now, when it comes to Legendary Lost Sectors, there's a couple things you need to know before hopping straight into it. Number one, there's going to be champions, so you might as well get used to it. Lost Sectors have two different champions. We have Unstoppable, Overload, or Anti-Barrier. The other thing that's important is what elemental shields will be in each Lost Sector as they're all different and they're all on different locations. So knowing what champions there will be along with what shields you need to break will completely determine your loadout for that Lost Sector for that day. Again, keep in mind, the Lost Sectors rotate daily, so if you get stuck on one, you could just wait four days for that exotic reward to come back around in the rotation and give it a try on a different Lost Sector. Now luckily enough, Bungie added on the Director all the information you need to know when it comes to the Lost Sector for that day. It lists what modifiers there will be, what champions you have to take care of, what type of burn, what elemental shields there are, it lists the recommended power, and of course the rewards. So if you're wanting to farm for exotics, just open up the Director this season, check out the map on the Moon, Dreaming City, or Europa, and one of these locations you will find the Legendary Lost Sector for that day. Again keeping in mind that you've cleared the Lost Sectors normally and you're high enough power level. Now, a couple things once you're actually inside the Lost Sector, a few mechanics you should be aware of. Number one, you're going to be getting a rating based on how you perform in the Lost Sector itself. 
Similar to Nightfalls already, if you guys have run those with champions, you know you get a rating depending on how many champions you defeated. So you want to make sure you defeat every champion to earn that platinum rating. That way you get the highest chance of an exotic to drop at the end of the Lost Sector. Now there's another mechanic in these Lost Sectors you should be aware of as well in case you're struggling. When you start out, you have three revive tokens. If you die and you revive, you'll use a revive token. By defeating champions, you'll earn another additional revive token, giving you an extra chance to try and complete this. The other thing though is that there is a timer similar to Grandmaster Nightfalls. And once that timer hits 15 minutes, it will wipe all of your revive tokens. You can still complete the Legendary Lost Sector after that timer hits 15 minutes, but keep in mind the next death will be your last. You can still get exotics to drop as well after that timer hits 15 minutes. It's not related at all. The main thing when you're completing this is you want to make sure you get that platinum rating by defeating every champion. It's okay to skip some of the smaller adds, but don't skip out on champions if you want the highest chance for exotics to drop. Now, if you've been following the channel, you'll know since Beyond, Beyond Light dropped, I've been covering a lot of Lost Sector content. This is because I know from the comments I get that there's a lot of people out there with a bunch of misinformation about Lost Sectors or exotics in general. And there's also, it seems like a more casual player base that my guys are helpful for. So I know that there's people out there trying to farm for these exotics that might not have the best or optimal loadouts. So what I try to do on my guides is gives you guys a good starting point that you can build your own build off of what I used. You don't have to use exactly what I use because most of the time it's not 100% optimal. And that's okay. My goal is to get people an idea to complete these lost sectors on their own. So if this guide did help you out, be sure to let me know in the comments section down below. If you're farming for Radiant Dance Machines today, good luck as well. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for all my other Lost Sector guides, and I'll see you guys in the next one.